Komatsu! D85E. This one's down a cylinder. For some reason we got one cylinder not firing. We gotta find out what's going on here. So it's number five is the cylinder that doesn't wanna fire. So let's see which one of these is the hardest one to get at. Okay, so number one looks easy and two is easy. Three is easy. Four is not bad. Uh, six is easy. Five is underneath this elbow. And to get that elbow off, we have to take that mount off. To get that mount off, we have to take the air cleaner off. So yeah, of course it's number five. That's the one that doesn't want to fire. The most work to get at. Well, I'm slowly working away at this thing, getting her plucked apart so we can get at stuff. There's a few bolts here that are awful hard to get at. It's a, a Kamatsu! I think those guys that build these things have smaller hands than I do. But I think I found the problem. Uh, it's a Komatsu, and somebody accidentally put a cat filter on there. That's probably it. No. No, it's not. Hmm. So that number five injector is the only one that doesn't have a rubber boot on it. Almost like somebody's looked at this before. Maybe? Who knows? Well, the injector is out. I don't see anything else immediately wrong in here, so I'm suspecting it's going to be an injector issue. Now that's an injector. That thing is big. Alright, testing this injector from the Kamatsu. It's shot. If I slam it, there's no chatter. We should, should have that chirping. We got none of that. If we slowly bring the pressure up, it just kind of pees and leaks and piddles. It doesn't doesn't have a pop and a spray like it's supposed to. It just kind of just kind of squirts. So this one is no good. Back to the Kamatsu. So the decision was made to pull all of the injectors and get them all rebuilt because this engine has sixteen thousand hours on it according to the clock. So uh, yeah, let's get that done. I'm just here setting valves on the Kamatsu. Dozer. There it is, valve set is done. I did a valve set right away because we're putting all new injectors in and so if we set the valves and put new valve cover gaskets on and everything, then really there's no reason we should ever have to go back into the top of this motor for quite a long time. And the big deal with that is it's just a lot of work to get into here. All these brackets and stuff that all have to come off and everything is put together where you need little Chinese or Japanese hands to get in there. It's very, very, very tight. Lots of wobble joints and five extensions in a row and stuff like that. So this way it should uh, go together once and run perfect for many, many more hours. So the customer had these injectors in to get rebuilt. So that's done. We got new valve cover seals to go around here inside the valve cover. So then next we can get them in there. All right, injectors are in and torqued. All the way down there, so next up, I'm gonna get these valve covers cleaned up and get them put back on there. Inside here where those O-rings seal for the injectors are pretty nasty, so we gotta get those things all cleaned up, get the bolts cleaned up, and put them together. So to clean these up inside the injector holes there, uh, DeWalt makes these really nice battery-powered sanding machines. That's what I'm going to use for this. Oh man, DeWalt just does such a good job. I've never had a Milwaukee that did this good of a job. But if I ever get a Milwaukee, I'll check and see. There we go, we got Valve cover's back on, injector's in, everything's torqued. Lines are back on. Okay, I should have enough of this back together now to start it up and see how many cylinders it runs on. So let's try that.
this is slowly going back together here. Some of these bolts are really tough to get at, like underneath inside here. Uh, I'm not totally impressed with the way it runs, but that being said, at least it runs on six cylinders now. It sounds like maybe the timing is a little bit retarded. I'm not totally sure. These have a divorced fuel pump, meaning it's not actually mounted, uh, flange mounted to the engine. It's got like a drive shaft going to it down inside here. So the injection pump is there. And in here is this long drive shaft that goes to the front timing cover. I know you probably can't see that very well because this camera doesn't have a flash that I can light up, but something like that. Anyway, um, I'm wondering if maybe the splines are pretty wore on there. But either way, what I really need to do is get it outside, which I probably won't do. They'll probably do that because to get it in here, so it doesn't wreck the floor, they gotta run it on these tracks and these belts and whatever. Anyway, it needs to get warmed up. These old diesel motors, they usually are like that. They are kind of hard starting and they smoke and rattle and pop and make all kinds of noises when they're cold. They don't like to run until they get warmed up properly. And we smoked it out bad in here with this thing running. So it needs to go outside and get warmed up properly and then uh, see how it runs. You could tell once it had a little bit of heat in the head, at that point it was starting to run way nicer already. So I think that's all it is. It'll run poor until it warms up and then it'll sound a lot nicer. But I did confirm that we are firing on all six cylinders now. It does run way better than it was. So we'll start with that. I'm mean, just bolting all the rest of these shields and everything all back on that I had to take off to get in that far. And then the customer will take it out and run it, operate it and see how it is and let me know. that concludes this project they will take that machine out run it make sure everything is good which I think it will be and that's the end of that well that's it for today and now I get to go home but it is snowing and blowing and I can't see nothing welcome to Manny Snowbar luckily I found my way back to the shop Probably should have put that truck inside today. Now I gotta get all the snow off of it. I just cleaned this pad this morning. Ah, oh, I love you, winter. Let's see how this will go here. put away for night. Okay, trusty Rusty, take me home. <laughs>